I cannot believe this happened. I mean, I am really in shock. It's wild. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what is happening? It is December 9th. It is opening day of late muzzleloader here in Kentucky. So I'm headed to a new spot. I've done a bunch of e-scouting on, and uh, hopefully the spot I've picked out is the one. But we got about a 40-minute drive, so I'm gonna get to it. It's, like I said, 3.41. I'm, I'm tired. I had to drag myself out of bed this morning because I did not want to get up. But yeah, I'm excited about this hunt. Should be a fun one. So let's go. but I think uh, I've kind of spotted what they're doing because um, back then I didn't film it but there was a red one and then when I looked up on the hill there was another one up on the hill like hey go that way and if you look I don't know if you can see that see that red one right there well behind the camera on up the hill there's another one so hopefully going back any farther I don't find any um, because this one right here has a thumbtack on it and it's new because um, I mean you can just tell and plus the thumbtack's probably not going to hold that great but I've still got a good little walk so hopefully any farther back from right here there's not much pressure but this is the first day of gun season on this WMA so I feel pretty good about that um, that if there has been any pressure in here it's just been bow under pressure so getting pretty excited it's almost daylight I probably got another 15 minutes and that's probably gonna be how long it takes me to get back there so pretty excited I'm gonna keep on moving and uh, see what we come into I know that I have seen a lot of scrapes going down through there I mean dozens of scrapes I filmed a couple of them but I mean it seemed like I was coming to a scrape every 50 yards but nothing super fresh but there's bucks in here hopefully I can find them Wasn't 
ten minutes till legal shooting light, so the gun's out. I'm gonna sit right here, and then I'm probably only gonna go up another 60 to 100 yards, and then just sit right there and find a good spot to sit down and watch, so. Something still up there. That deer's a long ways off. My wind's blowing this way. That deer's way over there. I'm not too worried about that because on this side, it looked like there was a big um, cedar thicket. And I actually walked around it instead of walking through it. So I was like, man, this looks way too good. There's got to be something up in there. But I'm going to do some calling when I get up here, and we're going to see if we can't make it happen this morning. I'm pretty excited, so I know I've been talking a lot, but hopefully we can get up here and get some deer on camera, so let's go. Look at this. I can tell no one's been in here. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What a shame. What a shame. Check this thing out. That's the one we're after. Look, he's got some stuff around the base. Look at that. So stud. That's what we're here for, baby, right there. Dude, what a shed. Oh my god. Look at the mass on that. thinking, you know, looking for sheds actually. And then to find this one?
There's a buck over there. I don't think he was a shooter, but... Nice little buck. Well, that was pretty cool. I mean, I definitely wouldn't have shot that buck, but I mean, he was right here at like 50 yards. He just come in from behind me. I wasn't paying no attention behind me because that's the way my wind's pulling. So I think he seen me put on my hat. But nonetheless, that was pretty cool. Done rattled in a buck. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Okay. Hell yeah. It's only, it's only nine o'clock, baby. Gosh almighty, I'm pumped. I'm in here till about one o'clock, then I gotta bounce. a little bit farther. I've probably got another I don't know, maybe another 150, 200 yards. So I mean, it's, it's windy today, so that buck couldn't have been super far from me. But I mean, I did a long rattling sequence, and I mean should be all on here on the GoPro as long as this thing picked up everything. But yeah, I don't think it was more than, what, three minutes? put the horns down, decided to put my hat on because it stopped raining, didn't need to cover up the camera anymore. And then, uh, boom, there he is. Yeah. Let's see if we can't rattle in another one here shortly. But yeah, I think I'm gonna push up in there a little bit farther. I think his spot's already burned with him bouncing off like that, but I'm gonna mark this spot for tomorrow because I can get up in a in a saddle right get up in a tree right here and see that side and this whole side right here. Boom, baby, I love this stuff. I'm not lying, baby. I'm not all right, we're set up. I'm gonna have to start using the GoPro for interviews because I've only got like 28 minutes left on on that SD card, so but anyway <clears throat> right here in the corner of the pot property. I'm gonna try to call one in and see if I can't get it close. I mean, I've probably got a 60 yard shot. And over here, I'm pretty much only like 15 yards away from the property line, so. Let's see what happens. Alright, well, I've got a new plan. I've got like three more hours and I've got to get out of here. Um, so I've got like five spots I want to hit within the three hours. So I'm going to go to them, maybe spend 15, 20 minutes there, call in sequence, go to the next one. Same thing. So we're going to see if we can't pull it off. Let's go.
มาโอ้ฉันรู้มันฉันรู้มันเราแค่รัดเอาไปที่ใหญ่ๆเราแค่รัดเอาไปที่ใหญ่ๆโอ้ฉันรู้มันฉันรู้มันฉันรู้มันฉันรู้มันฉันรู้มันฉันรู้มันฉันรู้มันฉันรู้มันฉันรู้มันฉันรู้มันฉันรู้มันฉันรู้มันฉันรู้มันฉันรู้มันฉันรู้มันฉันรู้มันฉันรู้มันฉันรู้มันฉันรู้มันฉันรู้มันฉันรู้มันฉันรู้มันฉันรู้มันฉันรู้มันฉันรู้มันฉันรู้มันฉันรู้มันฉันรู้มันฉันรู้มันฉันรู้มันฉันรู้มันฉันรู้มันฉันรู้มันฉันรู้มันฉันรู้มันฉันรู้มันฉันรู้มันฉันรู้มันฉันรู้มันฉันรู้มันฉันรู้มันฉันรู้ม No way that just happened. No way, dude. I can't believe that just happened. Oh my god. I didn't know. I lost him down here, and I did not know where he was going to be at, or where if he was going to come straight up, or come over here to the side. But he crossed the creek right there and come right up there. Picture perfect, baby. I don't know how good the camera is, because I mean I left it in that opening, looked through the scope, looked up, and right when he come through that, I mean I yelled it, and he turned. He was actually kind of cornering to me, and I took my time, and I know I hammered him because he he was falling down through there. Oh my God! I don't know what he is. I know he's a good buck, and that's all that matters to me right now, because I have hunted in Kentucky for. This makes what year five and never had the chance. This is only my second time with a with a gun, my first time on this piece of public land, and I just rattled in a buck across the creek, dude. <laughs> I wish I could have got that on camera, but there was just no way, man. But he, I mean, I could see him clear as day, and I knew it was a shooter right off the rip. Is he an eight? Is he a ten? Is he a fourteen pointer? I have no idea, but I know he is a good buck, and I am. I am freaking pumped because this hunt has been awesome, man. I mean, from finding that shed to rattling in that other buck, the thunder is—I mean, the rain's coming. I hear thunder. I just rattled in a freaking stud, dude. <laughs> oh man, I cannot believe this happened. I mean, I am really in shock. It's wild. I mean, that's the second buck I've rattled in today, and. I wish the camera could have got the picture of, or the video of him coming across that creek because it was just, it was insane. It's like his reflection was coming off there, like something that I'll never forget. An awesome buck, an awesome hunt. I mean, look at this thing, dude. I mean, he ain't quite there, but <laughs> I mean that thing is huge. But man, I am so happy with this hunt and how this played out. I cannot wait to put my tag around this thing, because overall, sometimes it ain't about how big the rack is; it's just about the experience. And man, I was pumped up to get out here this morning. I was even telling my girlfriend yesterday, you know, like it's Big Buck Day, baby. And sure enough, it is Big Buck Day. <laughs> oh man, yeah, I don't even, I don't know what to say, man. This is my third buck, buck of the season, and. Just an incredible season, and like to be honest, I haven't got to hunt a lot this year, and like I've been kind of bummed about it to be honest. Like I haven't even shot a single uh, deer with my bow yet, and just yeah, overall, um, you know, I, I started a new career, um, still doing the same thing. I'm not working for myself now. I'm working for another company, so obviously that you know limits the time I'm able to get out in the woods. Because like when I was working for myself, myself, uh, heck, I was I was hunting whenever I could. And probably when I shouldn't have been, but yeah, sometimes things are meant to happen for a reason. <laughs> but man, awesome hunt, awesome year. I'm tagged out in Kentucky, tagged out in Virginia, so hopefully, hopefully I can uh, get someone on a buck back home. Um, I just got permission on the piece that I usually hunt. The homeowners killed his buck, so I'm able to come in and, and uh, try to kill one now. But obviously, I can't kill one. But hopefully, like I said, we can get some uh, get someone else on some. But man, awesome hunt! I'm gonna end it at that because I mean I'm sure you've heard the thunder here, but it's probably about to start pouring rain, and I've got some work to do. So I'm gonna get some pictures of him and yeah, start the pack out. So this should be fun, baby. Yeah! <laughs> Incredible.